10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beginning pitch over. Stage one propulsion is holding nominal. Our 58th electron is headed all the way up to space carrying a satellite for Sinspective. We are now 42 seconds into flight and we've cleared the pad, fast approaching max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, the moment in flight when electron experiences its peak structural load. Now the guidance, navigation and control Andrew, team so monitors one. that milestone. Hope so let's listen so into mission control to hear speed. their call out that we have cleared it. And reach seven two. HVB discharge is nominal. Cleared max Q. And just like that, Electron has successfully cleared max Q. We are now at nineteen point nine kilometers in altitude and traveling at normal. over two thousand eight hundred kilometers an hour with those nine Rutherford engines burning strong. Up next, in quick succession, we'll see main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, and then second and stage in ignition. All three events Anywhere take place jobs. within seconds. Electron's first stage will then return to Earth, while the second stage will continue stage the mission one, onto orbit. Let's, let's listen in for those calls. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Mika confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. There we go. Successful MECO stage separation and second stage ignition confirmed. Now, Electron's vacuum optimized Rutherford engine will continue to burn for another seven minutes from here, taking us all the way to orbit. And then up next is a milestone called fairing separation or fairing jettison. And this is where the two halves of the protective carbon composite fairing that covers the satellite on the way to orbit splits apart and falls away to expose the payload to space. Fairing Jettison succeeded. There we have it. Fairing Jettison has been successful. Now, Sinspective's sixth satellite is exposed to space in preparation for deployment. Now, with just five and a half minutes remaining in the second stage burn, we're at an altitude of over 127 kilometres. The second stage burn will be complete at around nine minutes into the mission, so we have a few minutes remaining here yet. Now at T plus 4 minutes 18 seconds into the mission, having just ticked over 10,000 kilometres per hour, we are above 163 kilometres from Earth and on our way to space with the second stage of Electron. Burning bright, as you can see there, coming up to our next milestone, which will be the battery hot swap.
Our 58th Electron mission continues to track nominally five minutes into flight as we prepare for battery hot swap. The Rutherford engine's fuel is pumped electrically rather than fed by a traditional gas turbine, and we use batteries to power those fuel pumps. Once we deplete one set of batteries, we jettison them and swap to a fresh batch to reduce mass on the way to orbit. Let's listen in for the battery hot swap call and keep your eyes peeled to see the silver glint on screen as they fall away. HGB discharge nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Battery jettison confirmed. Hot swap successful. A fresh battery pack is now in place and battery hot swap has been successful. All that remains now is SECO or second engine cutoff when the Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage shuts down in preparation for kick stage separation. We're at six minutes into flight and that SECO is scheduled for just after nine minutes, so just a few minutes to go. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. Electron's yeah, second yeah, stage yeah. engine nozzle continues to burn bright as we approach now T plus seven minutes, 22 seconds into the mission. The trajectory is on track and we are only a few minutes away from payload deployment. Now we'll hear a couple of call outs related to this. The first will be SECO for second engine cutoff to confirm that the Rutherford engine has stopped firing. And then next we will have the stage separation and that will be confirmation that the third stage and its payload have been cleanly separated. Separated. T plus eight minutes and all is continuing healthy Engine and nominal for off. Electron. Keep an ear out for the call from the operators declaring that we've entered burnout detect mode. So that means that the Rutherford engine is throttling down ahead of SECO, officially completing Class Electron's journey to orbit before spread. kick stage separation. You'll hear that call soon. Seeker confirmed. Stage three separation confirmed.